me. At Fort Raines, Fort Raines is long gone. You, you, you know, they were widening hi Highway 14, and, 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 so, and so they uh, blew that blew that image up. But what, what it illustrated is, is that, that, uh, that there, there, there was a creature fallen from a shiny object. At well and of hole, the shiny object in question uh, resembled how everybody described how UFOs look. It was, in, in fact, that's worldwide, you know that, where they find these same images of an object, which is what they call a UFO. Uh, I thought there were helicopters at first, but you know, you know, these things were, these objects were flying at a treetop level and you know what really freaky? They didn't make a sound. I, I know they have stealth helicopters, but uh, you know, as of you know, when they got Bin Laden, that freaked me out when it was evolved that they had stealth helicopters. But they, they, these things were bright, shiny objects. I'd say they were the color of a. Uh, they had like a silverish look. They were metallic. And they weren't helicopters. I don't, I don't know what they were. No, they, 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 they were kind of like a, how would I say it? A, how'd you, a, how you put two saucers together, and that's how they look. And, and, and as far as uh, their dimensions, I'm, 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 it's my best estimate meant that they were probably maybe 50 feet, 50 feet in diameter, or, may, or maybe even wider. This is quite a ways away when we've seen these things. Another time I was, I was, I was you know, I had my little cousins with me. We, we, we were going to the hills, and it was getting late, and I don't see very good at night. And I said, what are you kids looking at? So I ducked down to look up, and, and uh, you could see three objects in, up in the sky. These were several miles away from us. This, 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 this happened to be on the reservation. We were coming down to, down, down, down to grade. You, you, you cross this little bridge, Mercedes Creek, and damn, there was a whole bunch of people parked down below uh, taking pictures of these uh, Objects. They, they were way up, you know. And, you know, the, the only way I could really see them that I was using my uh, rifle, rifle scope, which was a, 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 a three by nine, 50 millimeter. It's a really low, low light capacity. Any, and anyways, there's other people there with uh, uh, telephoto lenses. It didn't make a sound when it when it showed up. I didn't hear nothing. And uh, then when this thing took off, it didn't make a sound, and it took off, bam. And uh, there, there was an air base not too far man, from, uh, from where we were situated. It was called uh, she Shepherd, right? what is it? Uh, I can't remember the name of the air base, but, but it's located over there. You, 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 you know, in the Walla Walla area. Oh, okay. Fairchild Air Force Base, I think it is. Any, anyways, it's a SAC base. So, so, so they have nuclear ordnance there. They have B-52s there, the last I remember. Strategic Air Command is what that means. Anyways, you can, you can see three jets, man, uh, you, you, you know, heading in the direction of these of these uh, objects, and these objects, man, but they they went around these jets, man, like they weren't shit, and then they took off. At a blink of an eye, they were gone. It's hard to determine how fast how fast they went, because these jets, they were interceptors. They they fly at Mach two, which is about 1,400 miles an hour. Whatever these things were. Uh, 
these, these things was way too fast for these jets. The jets couldn't even compete with them. These things were gone in a blink of an eye.